Okay. Is he uh, available? I'm going to call him right now. Let him finish talking to him. I'm going to give him a buzz. Oh, shit. Okay. Cool. Yeah, but it was just a, it was more or less just a place to, for artists to be. I like, you know, my man 3D and myself, we hooked up on the first one, um, Beatronic. And I just wanted to have a place for LA. It was about LA. You know, everything in the beginning, everything was coming out of New York and they were all independents. There was no major rap thing. Like everybody, like there's labels like Ventertainment and just labels that you just don't see anymore. You know, like, you know, the, the stuff with Molly Mall and the cold chilling and everybody was like uh, independent label and um, Techno Hot, the same thing with Crew Cut. We, we, nobody told us we couldn't. So we just, that's what we did. We, we, you know, like Crew Cut, Techno Hot, we, we knew nothing going into this business. I mean, nothing, less than nothing. And and to be honest, wouldn't nobody tell you nothing. And uh, that wouldn't tell you shit. That, that <laughs> game is to be sold, not told. Boy, I, I, I ain't gonna tell you who they were, but yeah, uh, uh, you can imagine they didn't want to tell you nothing. These these the the white folks didn't want to tell you nothing, and you you brothers I, that knew wasn't saying shit. <laughs> I I mean, you know, it was like a class. Uh, I I can't explain to you how mysterious it was just to go because nobody would tell you. It's like. If you didn't know how much to sell your stuff for or how much something costs, you couldn't position yourself in the business thing. So, you know, we we learned the hard way, but we made a way. And the label, just by the grace of God, I got lucky and ran into some, you know, the stuff that I did myself on the Unknown DJ, eh, you know, Unknown DJ sold like 20, 30,000 units of something, you know, like, like, you know, um, 12 inch records, which back, back then, you know, that was like, if you sold that, you know, you made like, I don't know what, 40 K or something like that. Lon. Something Maybe. like that. Yeah. Something like that. Cause the record cost, like, I think they was wholesaling for like $2 and 20 cents or something like that. Yeah. With the label and yeah. everything. So you might've made, you know, you still, yeah, you know, so, but you know, 40 K Man, that I can't explain to you how much money that was like four million dollars back then, bro. Forty k, and 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 what year was we doing this, man? Like, Shit, 83, 80, 82, 82. No, Come on, bro. We 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 we, we was Afro American rich. <laughs> I was telling them recently, man, that when they uh when we we was doing the bootlegs. We made so much money before uh, the, boot, before the was, club opened. He was doing the booth. This man. motherfucker so was, was my never, competition. I was, I was never in this that. This motherfucker, no. he's, he's uh, full of uh, shit. Uh, nope. I, I, he is full of shit nope. world. Nope. <laughs> he was my competition in bootlegs, okay? I disavow anything Mr. Williams is saying. We had to, we used to fight over records. <laughs> oh, nigga, you can't put that on yet. I just put that out. You can't do that right now. We would do that. We would, Lon, we would argue. Lon, Lonzo is old, and and he, you know, he kind of like by he get confused his ass, about his stuff. ass, his ass would. He was one that found the shit in the first place. First of all, uh, let me testify. Let me, let me put my hand on the That's Bible why right now. Don't get on with this fool right here, because he. First of he was all, the one, he lied. Hey, that's you he lied. I know he was the one that discovered the records in the first place. Down on Melrose, brought him to me. I'm in this. I don't know shit. Okay, so shit. he took me down to Western Day Music and made me buy a four track recorder <laughs> and made me start bootlegging records out of the club. First Do you hear this shit, Dusty? I bet. first hey, we was bootlegging. Uh, wait, 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 wait. There's no, no bullshit. We was bootlegging cassettes at first. Oh, we, we, what is this we <laughs> shit, white man? I don't know what you're talking about. We burnt <laughs> so many dual recorders. It was ridiculous, man. We burnt out. We was buying them realistic uh, dual recorders, burning them some bitches up because we would, you know, we we uh we buy them um, T TDK uh, cassette cassettes, you know, the the, the good ones, yeah. and. All you can do is double speed. You can't For go anyone fast. Anyone listening from the RIAA, this is this is this is Mr. Williams speaking. Now. And we would go to Radio Shack. We had like two or three of them some bitches going at one time, and they would just burn. This burn. We just burned them up. They was, he 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 and Yella was was really on that's that a, side. That's of the, the thing. bullshit. <laughs> uh, 
me, nah, nah, not so. Nah, 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 I, I never, I never, not, not. Nah. They would stay in the club at nighttime and do this shit overnight. I know, I know, don't sleep. He's a fucking vampire. He don't really sleep. He, he don't wake up to like three o'clock in the afternoon. No bullshit. This, I'm, that I'm not lying. This motherfucker drink coffee like people drink water. Okay, and he stays up all night long doing all his whatever he does, all his his his, his illicit shit. He does it when the, he thinks the world is sleep. Like, oh, shit. Huh? I said, unknown has an OnlyFans. Be careful. <laughs> hey, he probably do. He might be up there. I wish I did. <laughs> shit. <laughs> hey, they making money over there. I, I'll show my feet on the camera. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh. But yeah, Doc. Um, that shit was, we, the back in the day, that shit was so lucrative. It was ridiculous. It was, it was literally frightening, to tell you the truth, because we was it was doing so well that we knew it was going to come to an end at some point in time. That's why we I got out of it, because I, I got nervous. You I, know what? The funny thing is they still press those records. They're still being made. Other people are making those records now. They, they are still all over the world. You can still buy the vinyl now. People are pressing records that, like, are being attributed to me, uh, Mr. Williams, and myself. <laughs> but they're still pressing them around the world. They still I still got, them. I still got the my lacquers and shit. I still, they got a bootleg and they come get it for me. <laughs> hey, I still hey. got all that shit. And, no hey, um, someone in the chat has a question. He says, "Unknown, were you competitive with other labels from LA West Coast at the time? For example, Electrobeat." Electro beat? That's what is that? Jim? Uh, no, that was that. What that? Uh, homeboy out of England? Who the hell was Electro beat? Wasn't I'll look it up right now. I'll look it up right now. Keep talking. But were you competitive with any other labels in LA? Obviously, right? There wasn't really any other label like Freak Beat? There was Freak Beat. That was, there was Roger. Uh, that was Roger. Freak Beat. There was Roger, and there was um, Egyptian Empire. But he never really was much like Roger. he's pretty much himself except for Rodney Ojo. Cooley and um, the only people that like me and Lodge could were competitive with each other, but that yeah, was, was just us. We were always, you know, like uh, that. That was us. It wasn't really a competition, like that, because we, we owned record labels together, so it was never really. You ever heard of techno hop and techno cut? Techno cut, yeah, yeah techno cut, yeah, yeah. techno we, cut. That was me and his label together. There were no. There weren't a lot of labels here except for there was what rappers rap, what was that rappers rap uh rapster that was Russ Parr right right um, and we produced I, uh, like me and Arabian we produced like most of the stuff for rapture um yeah for Bobby Jimmy right, um for Russ Parr and 